Did you know that Norway supplies more than half of the world's Atlantic salmon, bringing in nearly $12 billion a year? Behind that success lies a rigorous salmon farming process. Eggs are incubated in cold, oxygen-rich water, fish are raised in deep sea cages, and every indicator is monitored using modern technology. For Norwegians, salmon is more than just a food export. It is a symbol of harmony between nature, science and discipline in production. The salmon's journey begins with the healthiest female fish. The eggs are carefully harvested and sorted using traditional techniques, employing feathers to separate substandard eggs. Only uniform, healthy eggs are placed in clean freshwater incubation tanks, where a gentle flow of water provides natural oxygen. Over 30 to 60 days, the embryos develop into eggs with eyes, a crucial sign that they are ready to move on to the next stage. When hatched, the fry carry a yolk sac, their sole source of nutrition for the first few weeks of life. As this sac dries, the salmon enter a feeding phase, fed micro pellets rich in protein and minerals in low density freshwater tanks to reduce stress. In late autumn, when they are about 13 to 15 cm long, they are transferred to seawater, where their growth journey truly begins. Giant cages located in the deep fjords of Norway almost perfectly mimic the natural habitat of wild salmon. Made from corrosion resistant materials, the cages are tens of metres in diameter and positioned in areas with strong currents, cold water and high oxygen levels. The ample space allows the salmon to swim freely, helping them develop muscle mass, increase resistance and produce firm, high-quality meat. Underwater sensors, 24-7 surveillance cameras and automated monitoring stations continuously track salinity, temperature, oxygen levels and fish behaviour. Any minor changes are immediately addressed. Salmon feed is fed directly by workers in trays or batches based on the swimming speed, the level of competition for food and the appetite of the fish each day. The feed consists of protein-rich pellets from fish meal, fish oil and minerals, which are spread on the water surface in batches so that the fish can float up to catch food, creating a lively scene in each cage Thanks to a stable source of nutrition and a cold, oxygen-rich seawater environment, salmon grow steadily for 1.5 to 2 years until they reach a commercial weight of 5 to 6 kg, the ideal size for harvesting, with firm, fatty meat and a characteristic orange colour.
When it is time to harvest, the fish are picked up and immediately put on a ship or a specialised refrigerated truck containing circulating seawater to maintain maximum freshness. They are then transported to the processing plant in perfect fresh condition. Here the salmon are cleaned, scaled, gutted and washed several times with cold water. Those that meet the standards are packaged whole for export or put into the line for filleting. The filleting process is carried out with near absolute precision. Workers use sharp specialised knives to cut off the head and tail and separate the meat from the bones without tearing the fish fibres. Each 5-6kg fish produces about 2-3kg of premium fillet. Each fillet is carefully examined with specialised light to detect and remove any remaining bones, then cut into portions of 200 to 500 G, depending on market demand. Billets are vacuum packed and stored at 0 to 4 DEC, keeping them fresh for 7 to 10 days, or deep frozen for longer distance transport. A portion of the fillet is selected to be processed into smoked salmon, one of Norway's most premium products. The fish is salted by hand or by machine, ensuring that the salt is absorbed evenly and the moisture is maintained. After the ageing period, the fish is transferred to a smoking chamber where maple or oak wood is burned at low temperatures to create a characteristic light smoke flavour without cooking the meat. After smoking, the salmon is cooled, aged for a further 48 hours to harmonise the flavour, then sliced thinly and checked one last time before packaging. Alongside the filleting process, the row of the female salmon, if at the optimal stage, is transferred to the processing area to be made into salted salmon row. The roe is gently separated from the membrane and washed with diluted salt water to maintain its natural elasticity. Next, the row is filtered through a sieve to select uniform, beautiful grains, then salted according to a standard ratio to maintain its crispness, gloss and characteristic flavour. The final product is packaged in specialised glass jars or cans kept refrigerated and exported as one of the highest end products of the Norwegian salmon industry. From the tiny, carefully selected eggs in the incubation tanks to the glistening orange fillets and fragrant smoked salmon fillets, every step in the production chain is meticulously controlled. 
From nurturing the eggs in clean, oxygen-rich water, harvesting at the right time, transporting them using specialized refrigeration systems, to processing, deboning, packaging, and storage, everything is done according to strict food safety standards. That is why Norwegian salmon is present on tables from Tokyo to New York, not only as a dish, but also as a symbol of quality, purity, and Nordic spirit. If you find this journey interesting, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss other fascinating from farm to table stories in the world of global cuisine and agriculture. Leave a comment below to tell us what impressed you the most about the whole process of caring for, raising and processing salmon.